Okay, you guys, check it out. I'm so excited. My next guest was born and educated in Houston and is an actor. You know him, you love him. He's in numerous film and television credits to his name. Here is Brett Cullen. Welcome to the party, man. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. Fred, it's good to see you, my friend. You live in California, but you're from Houston, born and raised. Tell me I've about Houston. I have deep roots in Houston. My, uh, I, I, went, I grew up there. I went through high school, and I went to college there for five years at the University of Houston. You're a surfer. You're a fencer. You're a golfer. But most people know you as the actor. Uh, I got to ask you about film, television. Are yeah. they different beasts? Are they different mechanisms, different ways to act in film, television? And do you prefer <laughs> the other? They're not different in terms of your approach to the work. No, I mean, you're still playing a character and you're still doing, I mean, obviously the difference versus stage versus film and television is, is somewhat different. Yeah. But, and in terms of preferential, like what do I like more? Uh, I like working fast. I like that idea of getting on my feet and going and going and going, okay, we got that, let's go to the next scene. Yeah. Uh, film is a bit, particularly like Dark Knight Rises uh, was, was a, a much slower process. Um, Joker, the same thing, except, you know, it's a, it's a different animal, different budget. Um, but then you have a little indie film that shoots like a TV show where you shoot 12 pages a day. You know, you got to go because there's the budget's low and you've got to get the film in the can. And so speaking of taking care of each other, this is a big year in our country. It's a census year, the 2020 census. We do it every 10 years, but this is a big, significant one. Why do you think it's important for the census to, for everyone to be counted? And how does that help people in Houston, those communities? Well, if you're counted and the, uh, the state and the federal government knows how many people are in a certain area, if it's grown exponentially, then there are gonna be more House of Representatives uh, selected for that population. So that there's $100 billion of state and federal money that needs to be allocated. And based on if you have a disability or if you're retired, if you're, you know, what job you do, what you buy, what you like. I mean, all that is taken into account in the census. So it, it, it helps you to be counted because if you're not counted, it's like voting. You don't have a say. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Well, then I got one final question for you today, Brett. Are you going to be part of the 2020 census? Well, count me in. Yeah, baby. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us at the house party. You can come back anytime. All right. <laughs>